Well, John, another good away performance, another very good away win. Can we manage a smile? <sighs> According to Robbie, we've got to keep listening to that song by Stephen Langstaff, Smile. Me lucky old man. Um, I you know, I feel for Mark, you know, everything that can go against them at the moment is, you know, they've got players out in the other, then on the ground squads wise, and then, you know, they get a sending off like that. Um, it alters the whole course of the game, you know. He's looking at going in and trying to galvanise them for the second half on slot. And all of a sudden he's going in 2-0 down with 10 men within the space of two minutes. So, when, you know, I've been there myself and when things are going wrong for you, it, it just seems to be one problem after another. He's a good manager, Mark, and he's a good fella, and I'm sure he'll, you know, he'll get them going again. And they just need that little bit of luck. And you know, we had a little bit of luck today. You know, they've had a good chance after 10 minutes. That if that goes in, the whole complex of the game has changed. So we're not daft enough to know that. We're not cheerless enough to to swag it out and say we've been brilliant today. Yeah, we, it was a professional performance against 10 men, but we have to re remember that it was non nil for 44 minutes, and the domination, you know, occurred because of the 10 men. So. You know, I, I don't think um, Crawley should beat themselves up too much over there, and we won't be certainly getting carried away with it. Plenty to be happy about, though, in terms of being clinical and creating chances, and another clean sheet. Well, the clean sheet obviously is a big bonus for us, but the goals we scored were fantastic. You know, if you go, if you go to the penalty, the actual move for the penalty was just was breathtaking, to be honest. Um, and you know, you don't want to see people sent off, but they are the letters of the law, so that you want to see them laws enforced because it's happened to us plenty of times um, but the move for that goal was great and then the move for the other two goals was great and we could have scored one or two more which you know on another day um, you know we'd be ruining them misses but thankfully you know they didn't have an impact on the game we've talked about Matt Crooks a couple of times this season he looks a different man in front of goal this year doesn't he if he scores that over the volley at the end he's going to I've said to the lads on the bench he's going to Barcelona for 17 million if he scores that but no, nah, I mean, Crucey can be what he wants to be, we've said that. He's got all the tools, got all the physique to be a, a top flight footballer. And, you know, he's still learning his say because he hasn't played enough football. And the more exposure you get to football, the better you get. Three goals in three, is Billy Key back in business now? I said to Billy when he scored the first one, you know, they are like buses and they do come along. Billy got a knock early on, so he's done well to soldier through. You know, what must be remembered is we were out, Tom Davis, who's been magnificent for us, Team was a, was a doubt to start anyway, so we've lost him after 15 minutes. And we were out Teddy because of an, an ankle injury. So, you know, that's that's two captains in one we've lost. And Tom, who's been like a captain. So, three big players who were, who were missing. But, you know, we've got players who were ready to step in and fill the gap. I mean, luckily, I've, it's a toss up who plays between Billy and, and Teddy anyway. So, that's not too much of a problem. But the centre half is a problem because we've lost that, the heart of our defence. How impressed were you with Joe Wright to come in after injury and it almost looked like Tom Davis was there? Oh, it was superb. Joe and uh, Liam were brilliant. Um, both uh, took to it like a duck to water. Um, competed really well and used the ball really well. And, uh, and that was pleasing to see. Game Tuesday night, is that what the doctor ordered in terms of your confidence and momentum, but perhaps not what the doctor ordered medically? Probably right, yeah. I've said that, you know. It's about us trying to conduct ourselves properly. You know, I've been saying to them from day one, we've got to um, we've got to start acting like we're a top side, and we've got to start believing that we're a top three side, top seven side, and you've got to act like that on and off the pitch. Not so much off the pitch, but you've got, certainly got to act like it on. But you, I'm on about your your work ethic, your preparations. You've got to believe that every day you're going to work. So not so much off the pitch, off the t you know the 90 minutes pitch on, on a Saturday or a Tuesday but off the pitch in training we've got to act like we're, we're the top sides we've got to have that belief, we've got to set high standards and we've got to demand a lot off each other and Just finally, have you got any prognosis on Dean Winnard, on Tom Davis, on Terry Gornell any chance for Tuesday? Uh, I'd say all three of them are doubtful <laughs>